This math knowledge practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, which of the following fractions is the largest? We have two fifths, three eighths, seven tenths, and 13 over 16. All right, so let's start with seven over 10. Seven over 10 is the same thing as 0.7. So as I make these comparisons between these fractions, you're gonna see that it's gonna be helpful to compare the decimal equivalents as well. Let's move on to two fifths. Can I quickly write that as a decimal as well? Well, I can. If I multiply five by two and two by two, this becomes four over 10, which is 0.4. Clearly 0.7 is bigger than 0.4. So we know two fifths is not correct. Let's talk about three eighths. How am I gonna write that as a decimal? Well, I'm gonna read this as three divided by eight. How many times does eight go into three? It doesn't, so I'm gonna have to add a decimal and a zero placeholder, bring that decimal into my answer. How many times does eight go into 30 without going over? That's gonna be three times, uh, eight times three is 24. Now, I don't have to keep doing this long division because I know 0.3 is smaller than 0.7. So three eighths is not the largest fraction. And finally, we got 13 over 16. Again, I'm going to compare this with 7 over 10 by converting it to decimal. Specifically, I'm going to read this as 13 divided by 16. 16 does not go into 13, so I have to add a decimal and a zero placeholder. I'm going to bring the decimal into my answer. How many times does 16 go into 130 without going over? Well, if we know it's, if, if it's eight times, we know 13 over 16 is going to be the big, biggest fraction. So what is... 16 times 8. 8 times 6 is 48, carry a 4. Uh, 8 times 1 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 16 times 8 is 128. We have a remainder of 2. I don't have to keep doing this long division because I know it's going to be 0 0.8 something. 0 0.8 something is bigger than 0 0.7. Uh, so we know that D, 13 over 16, is the largest fraction.